I advocate non-compliance with mental health treatment plans. I advocate non-compliance with treatment plans because I have seen the results of those treatment plans and believe me, those results are not pretty. I advocate non-compliance with mental health treatment plans because the treatment plan in most cases involves little more than adherence to a regimen of prescription drug taking. The, pres the prescription drugs I am referring to are the neuroleptic drugs used in the treatment of people said to have schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Neuroleptic drugs cause a neurological movement disorder that is often irreversible. The more recently developed atypical neuroleptic drugs cause a metabolic syndrome associated with obesity, diabetes, cardiac disease, and other potentially fatal conditions. These drugs are credited with being the primary reason Studies show people in mental health treatment to be dying on average at an age 25 years younger than the rest of the population. I am an opponent of forced mental health treatment as this treatment always involves violating human rights. Civil commitment takes place where the state slanders, abducts, tortures, assaults, and imprisons a private citizen of that state. The state could not do this if people's constitutional right to due process weren't bypassed in the commitment procedure. The same goes for court-ordered outpatient commitment. The kind of treatment ordered by the court is most often a prescription poison regimen. People confined in the mental health system are, as a rule, not convicted by a jury of their peers. They are put there instead by family members, judges, mental health professionals, criminal justice officials, and lawyers. Mental health hearings, in most cases, especially where the defendant is poor and without funds, are little more than kangaroo courts. I favor the creation and establishment of safe and caring psychiatric survivor and mental health consumer run and operated alternatives to mental health treatments that use force and violate human rights. I support the creation of safe houses, satoria type projects, crisis respite centers, drop-in centers and other helping healing environments. I have seen too many people crippled, destroyed, and essentially murdered by the mental health status quo to shrug off those casualties and to endorse the system as it is. I can't stand idly by while its unlawful activities continue unabated. If you are a victim of psychiatry in the state of Florida, Join me in opting for change, in opting for a return to a respect for human rights, and in opposing those violations of human rights that are taking place on a daily basis within the mental health system.